when you order online, you know, you're getting immediate feedback on what's happening with your order in the majority of cases. I mean, there's still sites out there that don't do it very well. Um, and that, that, is a, that is an indication and a reflection on the commitment to the e-com strategy, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I, I think where communication becomes even more critical now when the melding of the two, the offline and the online, is that traditionally bricks and mortar retail, I mean, they've paid minimum wage. They hire people who are just, I mean, it's just a job. It's, it's, it's really just a transaction. Um, there's, we've, we've completely moved away from the days of, um, my grandparents when, when you went to a retailer, uh, it was a career for these people. They worked in a retail store. They knew their customers. They knew what their customer wanted. We've completely lost that today. And I think that what this whole melding is going to do is it's going to force retailers to up their game on the physical side, um, I just had an experience with a company in Nashville, uh, an apparel company who are a ship station customer. And I mean, online experience that went sideways because of shipping issues, cross-border shipping issues, but their customer service went above and beyond what I would have expected. And they have a physical location that they ship out of. So these guys have figured out that you have to service the hell out of your customer. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you know, it was a phenomenal experience. Um, I'm talking about them, so they clearly made me happy. Uh, so, you know, I think that this is a challenge that a lot of bricks and mortar retailers are, are going to have to deal with. 